Hi, I'm John Gula, and today we're in studio with our product guru, Jim Lewis, and he's going to explain to us a little bit about extreme pressure gear lubricants, or gear lubricants with EP additives. That's correct, John. So uh, first, let's kind of talk about gear lubricants and gear applications, and uh, to kind of understand the lubes that are required for them. Uh, when we're talking about gear boxes or gears in general, what, what is a gear box? What is a gear? Because sometimes we commonly refer to transmissions as well, you know, so mm -hmm. it kind of gets a little confusing. Uh, but in the easiest terms, you know, you're, you're, you're taking a power source and you're, whether it be electric motor, your engine from your car, and then you're having to convert that to power force. Okay. And that's exactly what your gearbox does. It helps to convert that from a power source to a power force. Good example is your vehicle. You know, you got your engine, you know, and it's run away and it comes off your drive shaft coming out and now you got to get it out to those wheels. That's what we use gearboxes to convert that energy, get them down to the wheels and get them in motion. Another example would be a uh, gearbox in an industrial plant, you know, on a conveyor line. You know, it's an electric motor right there. Well, how we get that power from that electric motor and get it to move that conveyor down the line or for other applications in there, we use gearboxes. Uh, so John, that brings us to industrial gear oils with EP additive, mineral-based industrial gear oils with EP additive, extreme pressure gear lubricants. Um, mineral based meaning it's non-synthetic, doesn't have any synthetic in it. Um, and then we look at the additive makeup. So we can add EP additives to it, EP additive being sulfur phosphorus. Okay. Sulfur phosphorus, uh, it's kind of a sacrificial surface. It attaches itself to the metal surface. It's a very aggressive type product um, and basically becomes that sacrificial surface instead of the two teeth. Uh, being torn apart, we're actually torn apart a phosphorus molecule, and that's yeah. kind of uh, the easier way to talk about. Downside to EP additives are being that they are very aggressive and they do attach themselves to the metal. Softer metals will actually start to eat, you know, yeah. uh, bronze and uh, copper alloys, things like that. They'll start to etch into them. So we have gearboxes that have yellow metals in them you wouldn't want to use extreme pressure type gear lubes in there. You almost think, oh, it's a gearbox, it's extreme pressure. Why wouldn't I just use an extreme pressure? Exactly, right, right, right. Than no than matter what, just to give me that protection. Well, now right. there are some downsides. Another one would be water. If, you, if it's a high uh, condensation in this gearbox, things like that, EP additives are gonna hold on to that water, keep it in retention, water doesn't provide a good lubricant. Versus without the EP additive, you know, just mineral-based oil is gonna allow water and oil to separate where the water goes down the bottom, which in certain applications, that's what you'd want. So that'd be another one. Um, another one, food applications. You know what I mean? A gearbox, you know, that same gearbox that goes in this industrial plant might be doing the same exact function on that conveyor plant in a regular plant, but a food grade plant, now all of a sudden you can't be using EP additives, you know, because now of that incidental, incidental contact yes. on food, things like that. So that'd be another reason where EP additives don't come in play. But generally, EP gear lubricants are your widest used uh, lubricants in the manufacturing plant right now. But there are considerations to be had because EP can be uh, a little too harsh on a lot of metals, especially, you know, if you're talking about automotive type EP gear lubricants, and we just kind of want to mention these, uh, you know, that you use in your differential. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a lot, you have stop and go, you're pulling trailers, you know, you, you're speeding down the road, you're locking it up, you know, there's a lot of pressure that goes on that, so they load it up with EP additive. And if you ever smell automotive gear lubricants, right. it has that kind of <laughs> eggy sulfur smell, yeah. and that's what that is, you know, but that should not be used in an industrial type gear application because no, it will eat up those gears even if they're steel on steel, you know, over time. And that's right. that's what we're trying to do is get the longest life out of these gear boxes we can, especially in industrial type applications. And uh, that's kind of where EP gear lubricants come into play. All right, Jim. Well, thank you for that great explanation on extreme pressure gear lubricants. For more videos like this, please visit us at petroleumservicecompany.com.